so we all know it's not going to last. I mean, that just, that's a given, right? That's a given, that's a given. It's not gonna last. Oh, here, here, have one, why not? But somewhere over here is an ichthy. Oh, not that one, because that's not an ichthy and uh, not you. I think it's this guy right here coming in. Boom, have some meat. All right, we got ourselves level 29 ichthyosaurus. How's that for a way to start off the episode? By the way, there's Modi, Bodie McFishing Boat Face. So easy for me to say. Uh, Bodie McFishing Boat Face. Uh, really? You want to do this? I didn't think you wanted to do this. You don't look like you want to do this. Go eat a dodo instead. Or a dodo. Or a... Ah! I told you it wasn't going to last. Holy crap. That was just not even cool. Ah, oh, man. Well, at least I can get raw meat out of the guy. That's why I was feeding everyone. Come here, guys. Come here. Oh, there's a compi in the water. That's good. Double 90. Why don't you have some meat? Why not? We might be able to actually tame you at this rate. I mean, come on. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Maybe I should just tame that shark. I mean, it'll take me forever and about 12 years if I want to do it. But you know what? Maybe that's the way to go right now. Problem is, I don't, I don't really know that I want to do that. Ah, oh, boy. Decisions, decisions. I actually didn't want to do anything that was involved with the water today, aside from use Bodie McFishing Boat Face. Uh, wow, you didn't actually tame with that? Well, that's a shame. You are level 135, are you not? That's what it said. Female level 135. Oh, that is ridiculous. I do suppose I have some improved trank arrows, so we could probably knock her out with 18 of those. I think that would that would be doable. That wouldn't be all that big a deal to do, and I can actually make some more, so it's not like I'm done. That doesn't exhaust the supply. The only problem with that is then I don't really have any good meat to, to tame her with, so you know, let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Why not? There's always a Nictiosaur if I can't do it. That one tagged her. I'm just thinking, if nothing else, level 135 is going to be a lot sturdier than level, uh, I don't know, whatever the other one was that we briefly had. Here you go, have another one. You are welcome. I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds here just to make sure. All right, have another one, there you go. These are improved Trank Arrows. This is, of course, one of the mods I've been using for the last two series now. These just blast in, I don't know, like 700 torpor or something a pop. They are pretty ridiculous. They are pretty awesome. They are expensive, but they are pretty ridiculous. But I feel they're balanced enough for a single player game. I don't know if they'd be balanced in multiplayer, but for my purposes, I think they're totally fine and I approve their use. I endorse this mod. There you go. I'll make that even somewhat official like. All right, you are still dancing out there. I would actually prefer you to come a little closer to shore here. Here, let's put that one in your face. I think that was a direct hit. Oh, wait, now you are taking a nap. Let's go say hi. All right, I'm probably going to have to take a massive pause here because um, here you go, I have 187 meat. I don't have good stuff to tame her with, not at all. Look at that. I only have crappy raw meat, not even the really good stuff. So I'm probably going to take a massive pause here, which for you means really nothing other than, oh, I'm drinking water here. Let me stop drinking. I'm not really thirsty right now. There we go. Are we done? We're good, good. I was actually just trying to, to get as many arrows back as I could. Not that I really need them or can't make more. I was just, you know, trying to be efficient. That's all. Oh boy, how are you doing? I, I'm kind of curious to see how much one piece of meat is going to do for taming purposes here. I do run pretty high settings, not as high as what I've seen on some some servers out there, but pretty darn high. Why? Because I don't like standing here forever doing this stuff. And I suppose I could go super high such that I wouldn't need to worry about it and could do other things, but I feel like there should be still some danger, at least when trying to tame these various creatures. And I think I have hit on a fairly decent balance in that regard. So you're going to be fine down there. I'm going to need some additional improved trank arrows. Really wish I could just kind of drag her over here. That would help me out if I could just, I don't know, bust out a grappling hook and just drag her over. I would I'd feel better about that. I can't really do that though. So, ah, come on. She'll be eating momentarily here. We're almost there. See, I was actually thinking about going after something like that, a pteranodon. 
But no, instead I decided to go after this big shark. Level 135, that is not bad. We're not going to be able to tame one of those otherwise for a while. So I figure, you know what? Might as well try and make the best of a situation. Let's run with it and see what happens. I mean, I suppose I could go take Bodie McFishing Boat face across the water there and that would help me uh, get some more materials. But I did want to test what I can and cannot do with the boat. Problem is, I'm not going to be able to do that right now because we are going in the water instead of going flying. That was kind of what I was thinking of doing more than anything else. Oh yeah, this is going to take forever. Yep, going to take forever. In an attempt to make things go a, a tad faster for me, because I actually haven't done any time shifting yet, I decided, what the heck, let's go ahead and make a shotgun. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out a shotgun here, and then we're going to go uh, take Bodie McFishing boat face and uh, go on a bit of a drive, so to speak. I don't know. A bit of a boat? A bit of a, a tour? A bit of a ride? I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and load this bad boy up. Shove some shells in there. There we go. Shotty McShot in the face. This is uh, this is my new shotgun. I call it Don Cheney. Don Cheney? That's not right. Wow. Dick Cheney. There we go. Wow. Totally screwed that joke up. Uh, at least some of you are too young to know what I mean. That's good. That's di that's actually terrible. That's really bad. All right. So we're going to go over to this island right here, the uh, obelisk. You might remember this from probably a couple episodes ago. We were wandering around using a parachute, all sorts of fun, happy stuff. I seem to recall there were big things over here. I also happen to know there are big things over here because I went and played with one and it destroyed my armor. That's why I don't have full health. Now, you might have noticed that I didn't bother to look at the uh, Megalodon before we left. That's because I've been shoving some narcotics down its throat. Not too many because my settings are such that uh, it's actually going to be fine. Megalodon's also one of the first things in the game, so it does not suffer the stupid torpor problems of the others. And there we go. I know this Brontosaurus. I know it well. It has destroyed my armor. All right, let's go ahead and park Bodie McFishing Boat Face, uh, kind of like that. I feel okay about that. We're going to go say hi to this Bronto. I can run faster than it can. I'm fairly positive. Question is, can I shoot it in the face? It's actually kind of high up there. We're going to try. Nope, didn't think so. All right, let's see what sort of damage we can do in a short order here, because I don't have a whole lot of time to do this before it comes and stomps me into oblivion. Because that is what's going to happen. You know that, right? Oh, there we go. It's looking pretty, pretty bad. So I should be able to take it down another shot or two, I think. Maybe another three. I don't know. I'm a terrible judge of this. One, two. And I really like to be closer. Three, four. There we go. All right. So dead Bronto, level 15. This theoretically should provide, oh, some uh, sauropod vertebra. And it should also provide some raw prime meat, which is really all I care about. If I can get a good 5 or 10 out of this guy, I'm happy. We're up to 8 right now. There's 9, 11. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. 13, keep going. 15, 16. I can't actually use that many. It's all going to spoil before I can use it. That's awesome, though. 23 raw prime meat. Let's go take care of that. Uh, the only bad part about that is that it cost me a bunch of metal and gunpowder and polymer. And one of my cans of gasoline. I just don't have much gasoline. Oh, I do like the lights at night. That is nice. Oh, that is a thing of beauty right there. Let's go take Bodie McFishing Boat Face back to the raft. Back to Rafty McGraft Face, because, um, oh, you know what? Let's take a bit of a detour. I see a, a beacon in the water. Oh, I see one over there, too. That's actually not that far away. I mean, it is far away, yes, but we got some time to kill. We might want to do that. I have not... Uh, much to the detriment of my progression, gone and checked out beacons. So let's go ahead and just slide on over here. Looks like it's pretty calm waters too. That's kind of handy. Let's see what we have in here. Ah, look at that. Megalocero saddle and some other things that I didn't really pay attention to, including a blueprint for a smoke grenade and what else? A birthday candle? Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about that right now. Probably not. An extra smithy, though, that's kind of interesting. Well, whatever, we don't really need an extra smithy. Let's see, I'm I'm not sure. This thing seems to cover ground pretty quickly or covers water pretty quickly, as it were. Oh, uh, the purple one's gone. I don't, oh no, it is there still. It's just around the corner over there. Okay, 
Let's do it. Let's go head over there. This will give me a chance to kind of scout out the area too. We can kind of pop in the water here and there just to see if they're, well, that is kind of far. Hmm. Now that I look at it, that is pretty far. I was going to say this kind of gives me a chance to do a little scouting for some oil, but that is kind of out there a ways, isn't it? Well, okay. It's not that far. Fine. You convinced me. You convinced me. I will go for it. Why not? Might find something useful anyway. Besides, we do have the hatch in this thing. We can shove some stuff in there and we can, you know, kind of store stuff that way. I am a little worried about getting this raw prime meat. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. I forgot about that. Hold on. Uh, where are you? Access inventory. Let's put all you in there because remember, it's a refrigerator, sort of. Eh, it's a little bit of a fridge. It's not a great one, but it is a bit of a fridge. All right. That is awesome. So we will take advantage of that while we can. Let's see if we can get out there in time. Actually, I do want to stop in just a moment. Uh, probably once we get a little further out here, not too much further, but a little further because I want to check the water here. You can see it's still pretty shallow. Generally speaking, I'm not finding much oil on this map one in shallow waters. That I don't know what that was. I just drove over. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we are actually covering ground pretty quickly here. Let me... Um, I probably don't want to be in the water right now. You guys look like ichthys, so that's okay. All right. I didn't see anything really exciting right there. I might have missed something. I was trying to be quick about my looking and scouting and that sort of thing. Because if nothing else, we got to get over to this beacon before it goes bye-bye. Oh, I'm fine. Quit complaining. Here, have some Mijos. And you know what? That's going to spoil too, so have some cooked prime fish meat. Whatever. It won't matter. We'll get back in time. And if not, well, then that'll be a problem, and I guess uh, we'll figure that one out. All right. Almost there. Maybe I can stop and make a, a quick fire pit and go cook some regular meat or something. I got a bunch of that, but I'd rather not do that if I can avoid it. Apparently, that's the place to go to get some raw prime meat right there. Look at that. That is Brontosaurus Island. Two of them on the island. I don't know how that works out. It doesn't seem like there would be enough food on that island to sustain two big old Brontos, but whatever. Not my problem. We'll let the boat kind of slide in as we hop off. I'm trying to be quick about this and get to this before it goes bye-bye. Another birthday candle. Ooh, and the GPS. That is not too shabby. Actually, I do like the GPS a fair amount. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and take that GPS and we will put it right on the hot bar right there. Right on the tool bar. Right on the tool belt. Right on the hot belt. Right on the belt bar. Right on the tool belt bar hot thing, Majigger. Okay, I think I've run out of ways to describe it. Manta, you suck. I'm leaving. I think that was a saber-toothed salmon right there. Got to say, this map is really pretty at night. I do like it at night, especially uh, when we get some crazy lightning and that sort of effects going on. It just looks really awesome, but I'm also really enjoying this boat. I mean, it moves pretty darn quickly, especially compared to the raft, which is just a nightmare of slowness. I really wish I could put an outboard motor on the raft. You can't really do that. If you could, that would be pretty awesome. I think that'd be a nice mod to add in the future or something like that. I mean, if if the devs aren't going to add proper boats and I don't know what their plans are, then I think that'd be a pretty, pretty cool way to do it. Uh, you know, some sort of upgrade to the rafts without going totally overboard. Just allow us to add a little outboard motor on it. Something like that. That'd be cool. Let us go a little bit faster. It doesn't have to be super fast. I mean, I'd actually prefer to go even faster than this. Technically, in this mod, I believe there are boats that let you go faster than that, but we are not concerning ourselves with them because I thought a fishing boat would be fun because look at it. It's a big fishing boat. It is pretty fun. I like it. Sometimes there is something to be said for just a nice, simple, high-quality addition to the game that doesn't necessarily add a whole new amount of crazy features and all that sort of thing, but is just well done. And uh, at least so far as I can tell with the fishing boat, this is pretty well done. A couple things I would like to see that I don't know that they're possible, like, you know, making that cabin door accessible, like making the, uh, the hold accessible, like making that ladder capable to be climbed, all those sorts of things. I don't know that that's possible in the game, so I am not criticizing for that not working. I'm just saying, it would be kind of cool if that did work, or if some of those worked, because um, that'd be a nice little subtle addition to things. I mean, it would look really cool for one. Just the same, it still looks pretty darn good, and I am glad I added this mod. So we should be back to... Uh, where are you? I am I'm turned around now. Is it that island? That island right there. Okay. That's where the raft is. It's over there. 
We got some deep waters over here too, don't we? That is interesting. All right, so somewhere about right in here-ish should be a level 135 Megalodon. Where are you? It's kind of hard to see at night. Guessing that's it right there. Yep, that looks like it right there. Let's go ahead and access the hold. How can I do that? Somewhere around in there. Access the inventory. We're going to pull some raw prime meat out. I'm just curious. Did it do something that I saw there? No, it didn't. Okay, never mind that. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's go hop in the water. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a problem for me, and I'm going to deal with it. Whatever. Big deal. Look at that. Unconscious. Not going too badly here. You can just go ahead and take all of that. There's no way you're going to eat all of it in time. I totally know that, and I'll just kind of let it sit there, and I'll deal with what it can't eat. That's, that's really not a big deal. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and let that guy, girl, girl, let that girl work on that food. That way, theoretically, we should have ourselves a level 135 plus a handful of levels. Megal Megalodon. I was about to say Megaloceros. Megalodon in fairly short order. Look at that. We got ourselves a level 196 shark. That's pretty exciting if you ask me. I'm going to take that prime meat. Nope. You know what? You can have that one back. I'm going to take that raw prime meat. I'm going to go throw that in the cooker over here. Otherwise known as the campfire. It's not a cooker, but you know what I mean. Campfire. Campfire cooker thingy with jigger type sort of thing. Whatever it is. You can just go ahead and chill right there for a second, girl, if you don't mind. I'm going to go grab a saddle, and we're going to go see if we can find some stuff. So we need some stuff. Oh, you know what? That doesn't go there. But actually, no, hold on. I do have a saddle in there, if I recall correctly. Yes, there we go. I managed to harvest that off of uh, someone before it was too late. I've been cooking a little meat in here just because that seemed like a good idea. Let's go ahead and cook that raw prime meat. Now, I know some of this is going to spoil, and I'll just deal with it. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. And you know what? Here, let's go ahead and make... Uh, Let's make a lot of gunpowder while we're gone, because in case you haven't noticed, I need more ammunition. I should probably go this way. So let's go ahead and stop at Bodie McFishing Boat Face before we go anywhere else. Should also probably call Bodie McFishing Boat Face over here. So let's go park you back properly alongside the, well, I guess the, the side of this little itty bitty island right here. Not that it needs to be parked right here specifically. I just mean park it right next to, you know, some ground so it's easy and fast to get on. That's all I mean. We're going to open this guy up. We're going to dump all of the raw meat in there. And I'm going to dump half of the cooked meat in there because I don't need to get rid of all of it. I'm going to eat one right now. I just don't really need to, but so be it. Oh, man, look at this. She is a great white shark. This is awesome. This is awesome. 3,800 health. Uh, melee damage, 254.1%. Not bad. Let's go test her out. I'm going to head this way. With any luck, it is not a manta party over here. Because I got to tell you, that may very well be... You know what? Hold on. I'm sorry. Let me do some... Let me do one more thing. Just before we get crazy here. Let me try one more thing. Just to make sure. Because, um... Oh, I realize I'm carrying a lot more stuff, too. Access inventory. Let's dump that raw meat in there. You go. We're going to dump the GPS and the pump action shotgun in there and the crossbow and all of my improved trank and trank. And what else do we need to dump in there? Fiber, blueprint, whatever, shotgun, uh, stone arrows, hides. Uh, you know what? Generally speaking, everything in there except um, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to keep it that. Oh, you know what? I have one more thing I can throw in there. Oh, I'm trying to call the, the boat to me right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to throw that in there and, uh, well, no, you know what? Let's keep the final glass just in case. We don't need that. There, we're going to throw all that junk in there. I know. That was painful. I apologize. But if there's a man to party over here, I don't want to lose that shotgun because I don't really have what I need to make another one. I actually don't. I don't have enough cementing paste. So that will mean going and collecting a boatload more cementing paste before I can create more polymer, which, uh, you know, means uh, doing stuff that I don't really want to do right now. All right, so we're going to say hi to our first shark. I don't know what level you are. I don't really care because you're going to die. My money is on unnamed shark girl right here because she is awesome. Yep, see you, buddy. Level 10. Got a level. All right, next one to the party. 
I'm not really worried about her right now. I am a little concerned about me drinking air. So let's try and get me some air. There we go. If you guys want to harvest that body, feel free. I don't really care right now. All right. We're going to kill all of them at once. Or that is my hope. She has actually taken a fair amount of damage right now, which you would expect when you're getting chomped on by four or five of these guys at once. So not a big deal. Look at that. Level 15 is toast. You are gone. Anyone else want to die? Next one to die. I need to get some air. So if you die soon, there we go. Level 45. Look at that. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Next one. Level 40. All right. So we got, I think there were two 15s, a 45, and a 40. And she has so much fish bean on her. It is just stupid. Dump that. You don't care. Let's go ahead and give her nothing but pure damage. She is going to be the terror of the seas. Oh, someone wants to say hi. I got to say, that right there is a real alpha move. Or um, a stupid move. Because look at that. There is nothing but free food around here. Free food frenzy. Look at that. I should probably go cook all this uh, fish meat type sort of stuff. Actually, how are you at collecting the prime? Are you collecting prime fish meat? You are not, you're collecting crap. So you know what? I'm gonna dump all of it, cause it's all crap. If you're not gonna collect the good stuff, then we're not going to bother with this. In fact, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with these things. Oh, I tried to park myself so I could get air. Uh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have dumped all that stuff cause I meant to actually heal her up here, but that's fine. You can have some of this raw meat. You like that pretty well anyway. You'll deal with it. I'm going to take all these berries just because. And I'll take those stone arrows. I don't care about that. I'm going to take those too. And I'm just going to go ahead and click, click, clickety, clickety, click, click, clickety, click. Because uh, why not? All right, that's about good. So we'll give her some more melee damage. She is close to 300% melee damage, which is going to be awesome when she has returned to the seas and she is allowed to free roam. Although, part of me is tempted to just kill her for the experience myself. A little 200 Megalodon is probably worth a little bit of experience. Ooh, that is cold, cold-blooded. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And let me go up and get some more air again. One of my, one of my driving past, it looks like Ichthys, so I can, I can deal with Ichthys. You guys, you gotta move. You're kind of in the way. You gonna move now? Thank you very much. I am looking for some oil here. How deep is this going to go and how deep can I go? That is, uh, those are two separate questions that might be completely unrelated answers. Oh, there's an angler fish right there. Can we get some angler gel off of you? That'd be awesome. I really need to give myself more oxygen. That has become clear. Angler gel, hook me up with angler gel. I'm about to start choking. I can't do this all day. Come on. I'm watching my health. Oh, crud. Get out of here. You're a big thing. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crappity crap. Wow, we are really deep, aren't we? Straight up. Straight up. I am hurt. Straight up. Now tell me, are you going to get me up to air or not? Jeez. Feels like it's been forever. Oh, oh, oh. My goodness. Wow. That was... That didn't go well. None at all. You're not pearls, are you either? Ah, man. Where in the heck is oil in this map? I tell you, I am so just straight up confused. I cannot seem to find oil for the life of me. You do have levels. So there you go, boom, level 300. You didn't get any angler gel because I made you take off because there was a, uh, uh, whatever that was. I'm having a brain fart right now. Hmm. It was a whatever it was. It was a big thing, and it was dangerous. And so we sally forth out of the dangerous waters, and there you go. Wow, I guess I gotta go run around for a while on you to figure out where we're supposed to go for oil, because I am not seeing it nearby at all. And that is, uh, that is no bueno, actually. That's what that is. That is no bueno. Wow. I need to get some more health back too. That would be really nice if I could do that. Did you even harvest any meat off of that guy? Wrong one. I know, I'm not I'm not drinking water right here just yet. I will be momentarily. Doesn't look like it. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I just, I had to run from the police, That was just, 
Uh, that was just too much. I couldn't take a plesio. Not right now, I don't think. Level 200, uh, I don't know, maybe. Probably not. Those things are pretty nasty, so... I figured discretion is the better part of valor, so away I went. Let's go check over here, though. I still have some areas we can check without going into the crazy deep waters, although I suspect that's going to be where we need to go. Hi, mantas. Don't be jerks. Ah, uh, mantas. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to de-jerk the manta. You want some of this? Yep. Bring it on, manta. My money is on my shark. I don't care that you're only level 45. My money is on my shark. That's all that matters. So let's see, where are we? That is Skull Island back there. So theoretically, we should be able to find something maybe a little over this way. This is going toward the blue obelisk. Maybe there's not any deep waters over here. I guess not. It's all kind of over in this area. Oh, man, that is just nuts. That was that was unfriendly down there. Now, I was technically fine. It was just my, my uh, inability to breathe underwater. That was the issue, which... Okay, great. You're right. That means I wasn't fine. Oh, hello, cat. Welcome to the party. You are a late addition to... The recording but thanks for thanks for joining anyway there you go have a seat or not smash into the microphone why don't you that is what you're doing after all hi how's it going we're just gonna go ahead and swim past that manta because that manta's a jerk did you know that that manta's a jerk all right let's take a look over here i need to um go get some air and maybe not dive so deep all right diver going down Let's see what we can find over here. We're not going super deep. Just gonna go look around. There are a boatload of sharks coming in. A fishing boat worth. Wow, that is a lot of sharks. Nope, don't do it. Oh, I see oil right there too. Just to the left. I didn't turn because you could see I was fighting with my cat. Oh, there's more oil right there. So let's see if we can get up to grab some air and then just go straight down. Grab some air. Here we go, perfect. And go. I hate when it pauses. Ah, I hate that. It's very frustrating. All right. We're going to go ahead and grab this oil as quickly as we can because there are a bunch of sharks coming in. As you see, there they are. They are getting really close. And go. All right. So that was one. That was good. That was not bad. Oh, holy cow. Look at that. <laughs> ah, that is dumb. That is dumb. Let's get out of here. That is dumb. And I need air. Wow. That was crazy. That was crazy. Holy cow. Wow. Look at that. One, two. I can't even count how many there are. I'm losing them because they're all just kind of turning into each other. Oh, that is ridiculous. Holy crap. All right. Let's swing around. The idea, wow, look at that. That is just, that is insanity right there. That's what that is. That is madness. That is a free trip back to the raft the fast way. That's what that is. All right, is that manta going to come in and attack? I'm going to say no. Nope, nope, get it back, get it back, get it back. Chop, 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 choppity chop. Start swinging, buddy. I know, I'm, I'm going to start choking on water again. I know, I know, I know. I know! Stop complaining. Learn how to breathe water. Evolve gills. Jeez. Man, so close. So stupidly close. The good news is, we got a little oil out of that. Not a lot, but a little. What are we, what are we looking at? 157. That 157 oil is going to turn into a lot of gasoline, enough that I am probably happy in the very short term. But we're still going to need a lot more than that, I think. Uh, very least, if we want to make any of the bigger boats, that requires making diesel fuel, which requires us to get a lot, of, a lot of oil that we don't actually process into gasoline first. We do need to process some of this into gasoline, but not all of it, because we do need to save some for oil. But 
that will have to be something we do on a whole different episode where we are doing different other things because right now we have reached the end of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and swim around over here, park this girl next to my, uh, I don't know, maybe between the raft and the boat because I am all about the aquatics right now. And we'll catch you on another one. So till then, thanks for watching. See you later. And look at that. She parks like uh, Norman Smiley does. That's pretty awesome. See ya.